She was only 12 years of age when she was pushed into the spotlight, assuming parts that no kid ought to ever need to Brooke Shields' name that would become inseparable from Hollywood double-dealing. However, behind the style and excitement, there was a dull reality. I think books similar to a showstopper, and like any lovely painting, I figure the world ought to appreciate Brooke and View. Her what was it like growing up under the persevering look of the camera with a more mother keen on popularity than her own kid's prosperity, and how did this experience impact? Stream's life and profession were jumping into the upsetting reality of how Creek Safeguards was pimped into Hollywood by the one individual she ought to have been ready to believe the most you know we. As a whole, we spend our lives taking off from or running towards our moms, yet what you're going to hear isn't simply Creek's story. It's a story of Hollywood's fixation on youth honesty and the cost numerous youngster stars pay for acclaim from S abuse to mental and close to home scars. This is the dim clouded side of youth fame. Imagine being a youngster furthermore, turning into the substance of a contention so profound and upsetting that it still causes a stir many years after the fact that Creek Safeguards wasn't simply any kid star. She was an image, an item, a result of a Hollywood machine that saw nothing out of sorts with oozing a young lady who hadn't even hit adolescence. What am I, digit refined men? Don't we get a look before we purchase messes with you? You can look all you need. At only 12 years of age, Brooke played a youthful escort in the film Pretty Child. Yet this was only the starting what sort of mother permits her youngster to be put in such a job and what sort of industry greets it wholeheartedly. We'll uncover the stunning truth about how Creek Safeguard's mom, Terry Safeguards, played an urgent job in pushing her girl into a universe of double dealing. And it didn't prevent there from provocative photograph shoots to interesting jobs in motion pictures like Blue Tidal Pond and Unending. Adoration. Be that as it may, was she a survivor of a situation, or was something undeniably more vile impacting everything? This is the untold story of Stream Safeguards. Hollywood's most youthful and most questionable star, Stream Safeguards, was naturally introduced to an existence where her magnificence was her most important resource. Basically, that is what her mom accepted. Terry Safeguards, a single parent and aspiring entertainer, saw in Brooke a pass to the existence she continuously needed from the second Brooke was conceived. Terry's arrangement was getting rolling. Creek's profession started nearly when she could walk, demonstrating positions followed furthermore. Soon she was the essence of major marks. However, it wasn't some time before Terry's desires took a hazier turn. I was a child model. Um, then I was a youngster model also. I did. You know, catalogs and clothing promotions and cleanser advertisements. You know anything that I got projected in when Brooke was only 12 years of age. She was projected in the job that would characterize her initial vocation, a youthful escort and beautiful child coordinated by Lou Mal. The film was planned to be a basic glance at youngster double dealing, however. For Brooke, it was something beyond a job. It was her world pundits who adulated the film. However, many were astonished by the asses of a little kid. Brooke shields up, unclothed in the film, igniting shock furthermore, banter about the morals of such a depiction. However, for Terry safeguards it was all piece of the arrangement she trusted. This job would sling stream to fame, and in numerous ways it did yet at what cost Creek safeguards was just. Twelve years of age in Lou M's beautiful child, as indicated by Distractify safeguards, worked 12 to 15 hours each day, and wore a classical footwear that harmed her skin besides co-star Susan Senden slapped her eye. N9 successive takes since it clearly couldn't be faked in a 2023 meeting with the New Yorker the entertainer talked truly about her job in the questionable film she expressed see I believe it's the most gorgeous film I've made it's the main genuine quality film I've had any point been in I esteem that film in such an alternate manner and compose my theory on it I'm captivated with that excursion of guiltlessness to encounter and who possesses it do they become a casualty to it or do they not it's very fascinating to me, that film you couldn't make it today clearly through every last bit of it I mean. It was a wonderful film, I think right up till now. It's the most wonderful film I've been in, moreover safeguards, even talked about his experience. Working with Anna Susan Saarinen, who played her mom in the film, she said I needed such a lot of endorsement from her as a lady as an entertainer, as a mother she was a maternal figure for me in the film, and she was intense I never felt like. 
I got endorsement from her. I was a brilliant retriever pup. That was me behind the scenes on camera. My personality, Violet, has this exceptionally unemotional response to her mom during the slap scene. I recall that at the point when I exchanged the way that I responded toward her, the job and lovely child opened entryways for Brooke. However, it additionally set an upsetting point of reference. Brooke was no longer a kid entertainer. She was a product promoted for her magnificence and espid, despite the fact that she was scarcely a young person following a pretty child. Stream's vocation kept on taking off, yet the job she was offered just turned out to be more provocative in the blue tidal pond. She depicted a young lady abandoned on an island investigating topics of sex and puberty. The film was one more hit, yet it further established Stream's picture as an assized youngster star. Brooke later uncovered that she needed to wear a body twofold for a portion of the more unequivocal scenes as she was as yet underage. However, the harm was done. The world currently saw Stream safeguards as an image of a young woman with a job she never requested, but had to play her next significant job in unending adoration. Yet again, proceed with this pattern. Brooke was projected in a film that zeroed in vigorously on the actual parts of immaturity. The film was a film industry achievement, yet the discussion encompassing Stream's jobs just developed the engaging piece of this kind of staggeringly awesome characters, these dependent individuals. These remarkable is that they have that advance, you know, and they're overwhelming. Be that as it may, what was occurring in the background? Stream's relationship with her mom, Terry, was muddled Terry, was more than simply a chief. She was a dominating presence in Creek's life-making choices that would have enduring influences on her little girl's psychological and profound prosperity. Terry Safeguards was known for her controlling way of behaving, and many accept she drove Brooke into these jobs to experience her own fantasies of fame. Yet in spite of how pundits frequently seen Terry's confounded relationship with her little girl, Brooke generally said their bond was a lot further than a large number could comprehend as she said in an explanation following her mom's passing in 2012. My mom was a colossal part of my life and of who I'm today. I cherished her, giggled with her, and regarded her. She said at that point, and despite the fact that she had her portion of battles, she was my mother. Terry kicked the bucket at 79 years old after a long disease with dementia for setting Terry was brought into the world in Newark, New Jersey, in August 1933 preceding the introduction of Brooke, her lone kid. She maintained different sources of income. She was a beautician, a cosmetics craftsman for Master and Taylor, and a model in her own right. In 1964, Terry married straightforward Safeguards Jr., the child of highest-level tennis player Candid Safeguards Sr. He was a financial specialist man who worked in advertising what's more, deals for Revlon and SD Lauder in New York City. He additionally shaped his own land firm. Anna Safeguards Partners in Palm Oceanside, Florida, in 1989. Blunt and Terry's marriage didn't stand the test of time-long completion soon after Brooke was brought into the world in 1965. The couple separated in 1966 at the point when their little girl was five months old. While the youthful entertainer was essentially raised by her mom, she frequently visited her dad and stepmother, and kept up with a cozy relationship with her three half-sisters and the two step-siblings from her stepmother's past marriage. I lived with a parent and I was a lone kid with her. My dad had a totally separate family and was extremely near them, however, that molded me during a 2023 appearance on the Drew Barrymore show. Brooke told Drew Barrymore that her mother didn't date after her separation from Candid, since she was enamored with me. I was her primary concentration, and the two of us were going to be cut off from each other. She said I was going to remain a virgin. She was going to be simply Terry's fabulous and being there. So it's like it's so layered, and it's so penniless, and it's so miserable, and broken in spite of the assessments people in general had about Terry's mom's job, all through her little girls. Experience growing up. Brooke felt defensive of her mother and safeguarded her activities. It's so natural when you're the lone offspring of a single parent. Brooke told the Sunday Times in a Walk 2023 interview, all you believe should do is love your parent and keep them alive until the end of time. Thus, I needed to safeguard her. She said of their mom-little girl relationship also, and by righteousness of safeguarding her, I was legitimizing everything and that set that connection between us as Terry became older, the youthful entertainer, 
saw her mother battle with following Terry's demise in 2012. Streen composed a book about her relationship with her mother, to some degree, since she was so sickened by the basic tribute the Sunday Times noted, named There Was a Young Lady, The Genuine Story of My Mom and Me. The journal was distributed in 2014 and shared the narrative of Terry's long battles with, Furthermore, her little girls for quite some time held craving for her to stop you from ever recuperating from losing a parent. Safeguard said at the assortment studio at Sundance in January 2023, it's something based on how you figure out how to put it in a better place in your high welcome to She Spice. Subscribe She Spice for more videos.